Kamoja offers really a lot, but particularly our culture is so unique. So most of the tour people that go to Kamoja go to experience like community tourism. Yeah, people go to do that. Did you know that uh, Karamoja had the largest village in East Africa? Many times people say in, a, in conversations that involve uh, getting things done quickly and you know we need to complete this a task and da 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 da. The certain people that say no 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 we need to close this now. Uh, we shall not wait for Karamoja to develop. Have you I had don't that? like that saying. But you had that? Yes. Yeah. I have a friend of mine that went to Karamoja sometime and went to the club. And he told me that in Karamoja there is no forget about Pakachimi, forget about Tempere, forget about what you just keep jumping the whole night. Is no, that I think it? no, I feel like that's a stereotypical way of thinking. <laughs> Honestly speaking, because yeah. like everyone has I think they're exaggerating something. Really. Of course they're yeah. exaggerating yeah. Really. we just have no more fun just yeah. like everyone else. Of course there are songs that play that you have to you have to jump. Yeah. You get. Yeah. Or a song that has been played, um, that has been that has been performed by an artist that say you cannot tell me you're going to be jumping on a Kenzo song or on Lucas Black's mm. music. No, people jump because of the music that has been produced oh. by the artist that say, and the beat gives you that vibe of yeah. jumping. You now, get. Thank you. Now there you go. Please vote for Akide Rachel. Akide Rachel. For Miss Tourism. Miss Tourism. Karamoja. Karamoja. Yeah. Twenty twenty four. G styles, the G full of style. Them a pre we if you know, you know. Cover color, me day a pant up with me crown king styles. Everything crease and ting in a me palace. Every boy a pre me in a mirror's right. Greetings, massive. You know what that means, uh, Rachel? Mm -hmm. Greetings, massive. Greetings. Greetings, mass greetings massive is like greetings everybody yeah. out there. Yeah? yeah, yeah. So greetings, welcome to G Styles. Thank you for watching. Um, like we usually begin for those that haven't subscribed, me you know where I deal with right now. <laughs> You've got to subscribe and then watch. You know, there's a lot of content out there, and to be honest, you don't want to miss this. Today on set, I have a lovely young woman. Um that has done many amazing things in this country. She's going to tell us about them. Um, but most importantly right now, she is uh, contesting for Miss Karamoja, Miss, Miss Karamoja, Miss Tourism, Miss Tourism Karamoja. Karamoja. You know, she's been in this game for some time. She hadn't contested previously, but um, she knows about the industry, the ins and outs and you know, how things run in there. So. I wonder what motivated her to step out of her, you know, her hiding place, her, her, her what do they call it, her shell, to come and do this, but she's going to tell us that too. I'm talking about none other than Rachel Akidi. Rachel, you're welcome to G-Style. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. we need to do a G-Style toast. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. So, um, in a, very quickly, who is Rachel Akidi? Like for somebody that doesn't know you, Rachel Kede. I think I think I believe that people are experiences. So to different people, I might come out differently. But personally, to myself, I'm a Kede Rachel. Um, I'm a very friendly human being. Uh, I'm a traveler. I love to travel, so I keep making friends everywhere. So I'm a friendly person. Other than that, um, professionally, I am um, a community manager for. Youth for Tourism Africa, yeah. an initiative that builds strong partnerships and collaboration to develop and grow the, the youth in the tourism industry. And then also, I'm a chair for Nguvo. Mm -hmm. Nguvo is an initiative that is directed towards supporting young girls between the ages of 9 to 25, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, to live holistic lives. Mm -hmm. I'm very passionate about that. Mm -hmm. So I can also be known in that capacity okay. as a chair yeah, for Ngovo. Yeah. yeah. And then also, I love sports. I'm a sports person and I enjoy watching sports. Ah. Yeah, I enjoy watching sports. And then I also act as a treasurer for my uh, team, Charlie Shooters. It's a league in the Marcos League. I'm a career college school. I'm an OG for Marcos. Yeah. So basically, that's me. Simply put, that's me mm. in a nutshell. And uh, the, the one that you forgot is uh, you are the next, the next Miss yes. Tourism 
the next Karamoja. Recipe. Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Um, thank you. So what motivated you to get into this? Um, many people will tell you they probably had, uh, maybe they went to tourism school, maybe they, they are into fashion and stuff. Like what motivated you to even go for this contest? The tourism contest? Yeah. <clears throat> I haven't been in the tourism industry for so long, but um, the number of years I've been there, I've actually been there for one year and a few months, mm. intentionally being like taking tourism so seriously. Yeah, but then while, while I'm here doing this and getting to meet all these people traveling and everything, I appreciate to, uh, like I appreciate the I, I appreciate the tourism sector. I do appreciate nature in itself. I love culture. I'm fascinated by culture. So I thought about that, and given the fact that I'm coming from Karamoja and we have a diverse culture, our um, we have a really really nice stuff to. Uh, culture wise mm -hmm. yeah in karamoja it's so rich and uh, i'm like yes i'm in the industry and everything why don't i i have free time actually what motivated motivated me the, the most was when i time well, while i was still working at bungee bungee is a lot uh, is a, bungee uganda bungee uganda yes hey okay i've seen it i've seen it online yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so bungee uganda mm -hmm. bungee uganda is an adventure tourism stuff you get it okay so they do quad bikes they do bungee jumping this is unrafting okay so while i was working there i really had fun i felt like yes i belonged here and everything but so it so happened that uh my other then boss passed on may continue resting in this mm. so i had free time to myself right i had free time i was like instead of just sitting why don't I do like something? Yes, I'm running all these things, but I have free time. I can actually do this, represent my region, and then put it like on a, a bigger picture, right? Mm. Put it like on, extend it to like a bigger audience, right? right? Yeah. Like, like I have this influence. I know, yes, I know that I, I do like have some influence. I can also encourage other people through what I'm doing to visit my region, okay. to get to understand what the Karamojong people are. I can do this all the time. So that motivated me that time that I had, I thought about it and I'm like, okay, apart from only being the community manager, how best can I contribute to what the industry mm -hmm. you get? So this is all that motivated me into joining the pageantry, plus also personal development. Yes, I all believe that all of us are looking towards having better lives and whatnot but then we need to work on particular things to reach there and miss tourism is like a, a platform for young ladies like me who look to better themselves uh, in, uh shape their confidence and also directions towards their career mm. i believe it's the right place for me okay so i thought about all that and i was like why don't we do this yeah i mean Okay. Why can't stop me from doing this? Yeah. So that's that's what motivated me. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, what are some of uh, the cool features, cool tourism places in Karamoja that you, you know, you're fascinated about? First of all, Karamoja offers really a lot, but particularly our culture is so unique. So most of the to what people that go to Karamoja go to experience like community tourism. Yeah, people go to do that. Did you know that uh, Karamoja had the largest village in East Africa? The largest village? Yes. In East Africa, what do you mean the largest village? The largest village, like the largest village. You know our but, villages? But they say uh, we're in a global village right now. No, I mean like technically, like uh, there is a village, there is a parish and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like the largest yeah. well, in East Africa is in Karamoja. Really? Like, Which one is that? It's not up there, Moro. And it's why? In why? 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 Because it's it just that? like the Manyatas are like the, they are set in a, such a way that uh, they are so big. It's like the whole area is big. It's called a village because it's a village and it's big. You <laughs> get? Okay. <laughs> so that makes it like uh, yeah. the biggest. Google also shows that it's the biggest. Okay. It's, it's in, a, in, in Africa? In East Africa. East Africa, you can yes, imagine. Which is the biggest in Africa? Because if you know about the biggest in East Africa. Well, you've asked me about my region. Yeah. Could you be knowing the one? Yeah. In... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah, okay. minus that, there yeah. is people have gone to Moroto. Yeah. yeah I don't know if you're going to Moroto. Actually, it's pronounced Moroto, not Moroto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know Moro if you, Moroto. I don't know if you've been there. Have you been to Karamoja? No, I haven't. You haven't? Yeah. I think you should 
actually yeah. come. Yeah. We do maybe a road trip to Kamaja. Kamaja is fascinating. Our plains they are really amazing. Landscapes they yeah. are really nice. Rocks you can do, hike. I hiked Kidiabo. Kidiabo is in Kiru. It's in Abim. Just that uh, I, I believe that if we worked on certain things, for example, that the the the, the rock that I climbed, it's quite high. Mm. And amazing. Yeah, at the at the top there is like a cross. I think it's called Saint Peter's Cross. Yeah. You can have like a real panoramic view of the village and it looks crazy. Okay. It looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then also the plains, you've been uh there is Chidepo National Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chidepo yeah, yes. Yeah. Do you, we have like it's the only park with all streets. Did you even know that? Ah, really? You, you didn't know that. No, I didn't know that. You How would I have known that really? And you Ugandan is supposed to be no. doing that in the park, like our country but I, has all streets. But, but, I, but you're not surprised that I know Chidepo at least. You know that. I'm surprised that you don't know that. That they are not Yes. <laughs> Ooh, okay. There are seasonal yeah. rivers. Uh, yeah. uh, Kamoja, by the way, is green during the rainy season. It looks amazing. Mm. The plants look amazing because, I mean, it's a rainy season and there is some um, green. Okay. Though some districts really do well. Yeah, carbon does well. Uh, uh, beam also does well. Mm. Vegetation was during the rainy season. Yeah, but generally Karamoja is yeah. really nice. There's Pianupe. Pianupe, I've heard yeah, of Pianupe. Yes. Pianupe, yeah. Matheniko, Matheniko correct, yes. Yeah. Then we have the Bokora corridors. Yeah, we have quite a lot really. And then we have community tours. You know, like the, you have to experience the life, mm. the tourism that side. For example, in Koti every Sunday, there is Edonga. Yeah, there is like a dance that is done every Sunday. I mean, I, I know those Karamoja dances, they just jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a friend of mine that went to Karamoja sometime and went to the club. And he told me that in Karamoja there is no forget about Pakachini, <laughs> forget about Tempere, forget about what. You just keep jumping the whole night. Is no, that I think, no, I feel like that's a stereotypical way of thinking. <laughs> Honestly speaking, because yeah. like everyone has I think they're exaggerating something. Really. Of course they're yeah. exaggerating yeah. Really. we just have no more fun just yeah. like everyone else. Of course they have songs that play that you actually you have to jump. Yeah, you get. Yeah. Or a song that has been played, um, that has been that has been performed by an artist that say mm -hmm. you cannot tell me you're going to be jumping on a Kenzo song or on Lucas Black's mm -hmm. music. No. People jump because of the music that has been produced oh. by the artist that say and the beat gives you that vibe of yeah. jumping. You now, get. Thank you. Now a quick question. I, I hope I don't lose this. Uh -huh. In Karamoja, that's how they dance, right? Yes, when that's you how talk they talk about not not like all of them because people from a beam where I come from, we do not jump. Correct. You get, Correct. Yes. But, but now this is the question. They jump like mm -hmm. that. Yes. The people in Busoga, Buganda, Bugwere and that area, they just wind their waists, right? Yes. When you go down south, mm -hmm. people, you know, it's, it's really just a certain dance and then, you know, you, you know how that goes, the, the western dance. Mm -hmm. What do you think inspires the kind of dance? I don't know if you get what I'm saying. That, that kind of dance? Yeah, as, is, is, as it, is it the environment? Show, no. Is it somebody that came up with it so, so many years ago? Yes, yes. Is it the, uh, the, the the terrain? Is it? I just don't get it. Like, no, yeah. I feel like there's a tradition that have been passed down from generations. Yeah. Like maybe our forefathers, yeah. yeah, maybe they used to do that. Or they were like, okay, if we like dance like this, this is how we are going to go. And then also they're like, these old dancers have like different music patterns yeah, yeah? like every region has like it's different for example Karamoja Luni, we actually our traditional dancers have like drums yeah. but from every district the drums sound different yeah you get and then also the footsteps are just are different yeah. so i think this was just a generational thing like they will pass them someone maybe back in the day I think came so. up with those things and now yeah they pass them down but i think it's so rich and so nice having diverse cultures yeah you know why i asked that mm -hmm. because somebody told me you know about a swatini yes 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 a swatini somebody you know how they dance you know the ladies in their skimpy stuff yes, and then yes. they you know while throwing their legs up and stuff mm -hmm. they told me you know about that a swatini muswati king yeah, muswati yeah. king yeah. muswati has a whole farm of ladies that they say he has a whole farm of virgins now that kind of dance is really a way to test to test them i'm told that if they stretch like that something can happen that can tell hey this one is supposed to be out of this homestead mm -hmm. yes just by the dancing so their dance was motivated by their culture so it's like a way of checking yeah that's why you say they dance and stamp. you must stamp that ground a certain way and raise your leg a certain way 
to show that you're still worthy yeah. being in that place. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, I was so coming from that side. I don't yeah. know if this person was keeping it real, but yeah, that's how they were trying to explain the maybe, So I, I, it got me thinking mm -hmm. that maybe every place has a reason why they dance. Yeah, yeah, there dance. should be yeah, a reason yeah. behind that. Because these dances are not just done anyhow. Yeah. Realize that particular dances are actually done on particular occasions and rituals and they, they, they mean something. Yeah. Yeah, so I think you might, you might be right. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so um, when is this thing going to happen, by the way? The, uh, yeah. The, the, what? the, the, the actual contest because you, you're a contestant right yes but ah, is it on already tomorrow first of july really yes that Ooh, so soon told, yes. yeah okay what would you want i know you have so many fans on here that are watching like <laughs> what is that thing that you want them to know about you so they vote for you because you have so many viewers here that are the interested in tourism <laughs> travel and stuff all the things that you've talked about why they should vote for me yeah yeah uh for i'm very passionate about my region and um there is this stereotype that majority of everyone almost has about Karamoja. Mm -hmm. Karamoja is known for bad stuff. Yeah, it's associated with a negative thing. And as a person who comes from Karamoja, and I really, really love it for my my region mates, right? Mm -hmm. I love I love the region. I love it, and I feel like it's so sad mm. that actually people get to only know the bad part about it instead mm. of also knowing the what, mm. the good part about it. I like to share about my culture. Mm. I would love for you to actually come and stay in one of mm. the manyatas. Mm. Yeah, I would like for mm. you to come and stay there. I would like for my friends to come and be there, mm. and then also this year's um, Miss 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 Tourism uh, theme okay. is. Um, Peace and tourism. Yeah. Peace and tourism. Yes. Yeah. It's tourism and peace actually. Yeah. Okay. Tourism and peace. So I believe that and Karamoja has like um insecurities. Yes, people know Karamoja for having insecurities. True. But it is getting better and I hope and I pray that in the future we actually have a peaceful region whereby anyone is free yeah. to go and visit and get to know like you know what you can exchange cultural stuff for development. Like I I, I advocate for that, using tourism to develop the region of Karamoja and mm. also promote free peace yeah. in the region. My advocate is on that. And I believe that everyone else would want to have like um, a Uganda that is peaceful in all regions. So I think people should vote me because yeah. I advocate for that. Besides that, I be, because um, since I have an initiative and a team that works towards uh, helping these young girls to live holistic lives, the girls in Karamoja need help and I believe that through Nguvu I can do a lot of work. I believe in working together as, as a team and... Uh, you said Nguvu was the organization you chair? Yes, yes okay. I'm the chair yeah. for Nguvu Nation. Mm -hmm. We have a team that we have been working. Recently we had um, an outreach in Lodoket. Lodoket is in Kotido. Mm -hmm. yeah, so Lodoket is a community that has victims of gun violence and war. Yeah, during the disarmament and all. So there are girls that are there um, with partners. Of course, we manage to give their mama kids um, reusable baby diapers, reusable pads. Yeah, we give to pregnant moms and of course every girl there. Mm. Because I'm really passionate about the girl child, and um, I really like. I would like also to be a voice to them, a motivation to them that they can, you know, you can actually step up and step out. Right. Yeah. You can, you have potential, you just need to step out, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I I want to be a force to reckon with, okay. right? And for that yeah. reason, I would like you to vote me such that I, all that is seen that yeah. it comes to pass. Okay, sounds great. I'm not from Karamoja. Am I allowed to vote? Yes, voting is online. Because that, that should be very clear. People yes. might say, oh, but I'm not from Karamoja. No, everyone can Karamoja. vote. Why should I vote? Everyone can vote. Everyone can vote. Everyone can vote. There is also boosting votes. Uh, boosting votes is not like something you do to cheat votes. Yeah. Uh, boosting votes, you boost the votes such that the money that is collected from that is used to push the mysterism in the region. You get such that it also develops. Mm. You get yeah. so that you can boost the votes. Um, Online, you can also just vote every day. It's an online thing. You see the link, check through your favorite yeah. contestant, vote for them. 
Nice. Yeah. There you go. Please vote for Akidi Rachel. Akidi Rachel. For Miss Tourism. Miss Tourism. Karamoja. Karamoja. Yeah. 20, 24. 24. You have my vote, by the way. Thank you. I'm, I'm convinced already. Yeah, yeah for real. <laughs> thanks, um, thanks. There's something that I don't know if you heard. Uh, many times people say in, a, in conversations that involve uh, getting things done quickly and you know we need to complete this a task and da 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 da. The certain people that say no 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 we need to close this now. Uh, we shall not wait for Karamoja to develop. Have you I heard that? I don't like that saying. But you heard that? Yes. Yes. I hope you don't take it like it's coming from me. I'm only no, no, asking. No, I'm getting it. Yeah. Getting where do you think that comes from? What? Where, where, where did it start? What made you know that, that thing that come, even up. come up? Yeah. No, I think like it's really ironic, right? It's only for people to say that. But, okay. Yes. I understand our region has not yet developed to that extent. Maybe that is the region as to as that's a, the reason as to why they carry on that sentiment that we shall not wait for Karamoja to, to develop other places will be moving on. Okay, maybe because also of the rigidity you get of people, because mindset. Where in Karamoja? Or uh, in yes, know, globally, mindset, Uganda, globally, and people yes. generally. And people actually do not realize that the more you keep saying that, the more you keep proclaiming mm. negative words towards something you get mm. the more you keep saying that the more you push the people with your mouth backwards instead of pushing it forward i feel like it's a lame statement mm. yes okay so it doesn't make sense it does so, not make sense and people should stop saying that you see so you know you know what one of the high appeal tasks that you have is to preach a message that hey fine that used to be the case previously but right now we are no, it's a new completely things. different yeah. ballgame karamoja is like any other place yes, in the world yes. yes actually even much more developed yeah okay um thank you rachel um so other than because mm -hmm. I, I i think miss tourism and the whole thing that you're contesting for is really part-time you have a yeah. full-time job that you do uh no previously i was working for banji uganda like, ah, I, like said you said, yes, I remember. right now i am working with youth for, youth for tourism africa as okay. their community manager and okay. treasurer okay. Yes, I also volunteer. I serve with the Russia Club of Kampala. Ah, North. okay. Yes, yeah, so there's quite a lot to do on my plate. However, I'm also looking forward to getting like um, a job okay. as I do all this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a full time job helping your people mm -hmm. and then ladies and is a full time job. Yeah. You're already employed. But it's good to also gain experiences. Correct. You get, yeah. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't mind really. Yeah. Also, I handle social media pages. Okay. Yeah. Recently, um, the Remnant Generation. Uh, this is an NGO that um, supports survivors of sex of mm -hmm. sex abuse yeah, and teenage mothers. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, my, I'm handling their page as well. So hey. I think it's my. It's, it's not. It's a, a gay kind of things that are okay. called it these yeah. days. Yeah. 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 But I'm a social media handler, and I'm learning more about it. I'm learning more about that. What is that again? Like social, they, they, being social, a social media handler. Uh, oh no no yes, but is that organization that you talk about? Uh, the remnant the rem generation. Yeah. Do you have male victims? Male victims? No, they are. It's for girls only. However, yeah. Uh, with the recent because they are male that you know have. Uh, that's true. But yeah. while I was attending their conference that uh, was there this week that is actually ending. Um, it was themed Igniting Change, Empowering the Future, mm. a Saint Women in Leadership Conference. Yeah. While I was attending it, there is a, a gentleman who is... <clears throat> there is a gentleman who, 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 who has an initiative for guys. Yeah, for guys, for like fathers and then also mentor young boys mm. and whatnot. They are working hand in hand with the remnant generation. So I have a feeling that they can also do that yeah they are victim like male men males who are victims of rape and sexual violence okay yeah um, um, okay perfect so why is it why is there miss tourism karamoja but no mr tourism karamoja mr tourism karamoja is, is, are they there also i've only heard of mr tourism Chigese, but then there's mr tourism uganda okay because because yeah. i mean there are two genders I mean. yeah, yeah. I, I, I think i need mm. i need to I need to make research on yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It would be a good thing. Yeah. yeah. All right. So away from uh, this contest that you're going for, that you're definitely going to win, you have our weight I mean, behind you and thanks. Uganda's weight behind you. You're going to do Thank this. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. It's really yes. encouraging to know that there's someone that will intentionally yes. want to support yes. me. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, 
tourism in general i you know one of the things that we do on this channel is share our experiences when we travel like this style is about all those fun things right yeah uh what are some of those things that you would um uh, somebody that has a low budget can do say out of kampala let, let's imagine you're somebody that has say uh, a million shillings is not a low budget let's say 500 000 okay. 500k UGX. and they want to go out mm -hmm. enjoy their country mm -hmm. um you know and they experience the, the beautiful uh natural resources that we have like what is that thing that would encourage them to let me say first of all you traveling in uganda is not as expensive as people think yeah you get it's not as expensive when you're traveling you of course you have to plan for it you get you have to plan for it ahead and then also uh please take advantage of organized trips yeah they are organized trip for example trip addicts mm -hmm. yeah trip addicts usually has um uh trip packages yeah for example they can have i think there is one they're having soon going to queen elizabeth okay and it's three days it's usually it's two three days they right? should budget yes they're around 250 yeah okay. that's really yeah. on budget okay so you go accommodation is sorted you're going to have a game drive you're going to look at this and then there is also free photography people mm. like you get yeah they usually have and then the meals are also on that so you can tra do group traveling mm -hmm. yeah cheaper dick does group traveling mm -hmm. or you can do a solo traveling if you want uh, a cheap travel deal I think you should go through trusted tour mm. operators you get we, we have like trusted to just need even there is information online but the people that i trust the most i've seen i've also had a trip a city trip with trip addicts uh, around like the city trip mm. there like you go see uh kasubi tombs the museums they're like the monuments that we have as a nation mm. there's a lot to see in Mugongo, here there is a lot to see yeah. in the country and that is really so less and you can use like only one day to do a city tour you get so traveling is not as expensive as we think it becomes expensive when you think that you can do everything on your own you okay. get especially if you haven't been traveling before mm -hmm. yeah but as an organized person of course you have to go through a trusted tour yeah. so look at group traveling group traveling is actually very cost effective you get, if you, you get, go as a group yes if you Correct. go as a group it's very cost effective you can also go as friends you get you go as a family mm -hmm. yeah and then also the other thing that you, you could get, also go as enemies then get their makeup come on how do you go to like you know like traveling to no, me traveling is <laughs> therapy you get yeah, yeah, therapeutic no. to travel mm -hmm. you get yeah you can also use uh, safari companies like Echua Adventures, yeah? Yeah, those ones, they offer travel trips. Usually, people think that uh, over... Echua Adventures? Echua Adventures, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They offer like tra trip, trip packages at affordable prices. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So it should, you can do that, you can travel as a solo. Most of the times I'm a solo traveler, however, since I love to have fun, I also like to travel with company yeah. and mm. friends mm. Mm. and make memories. Mm. Yeah, I like to do that. Okay. So traveling is not as expensive. But though, of course, uh, let me say activities. Bungee jumping, the last time I was, I bungee jumped and it's 200,000 for Uganda to Where? bungee jump. Hey, at that bungee place? Ginger, yeah. yes. No, no, I need to go and bungee jump. I've, you, you I've should, always you wanted should. to do that. You mm. know, last year, was it last year or this year? I don't even remember. I wanted to, I was dying to do something on the, on the lake. Uh, there's actually a video that I did about this. So I went, uh, rode those speedboats. Mm -hmm. It was nice thrilling. Initially, I thought I would ride it myself. But man, I got in the middle and things got screwed. <laughs> I asked the guy to take over. The guy took over. I felt like a biatch. <laughs> got back. Crazy, I went crazy. prepared yeah. and stuff. I went back. I said, you know what? This time I need to do this myself. And I went back and I did it. You need to check that video. It's the, the link is up there. No to, worries. I'm going yeah. to. So I bungee jumped. Yeah. Uh, I have done white water rafting. Yeah. It's fantastic. And it's 250k for Ugandans. And then also I have done quad biking. Quad biking. I want to do that when next week. Next week. Uh, no, I mean it might not be next week, but like okay, ASAP. Yeah, yeah, ASAP. You want to be young fed. <laughs> Asap. Yeah, you should. You yeah. should. Traveling is really fun. You can do road trips. Yeah. You can do a game drive yeah. in Chidepo. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. can do a lot. Community yeah. outreaches, yeah. community travels. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then also I think um, Zingo Zalo of Destination 256 has something about virtual tours. That's something that I'm, I'm curious about. It's like picking, and, and it's interesting. I attended one of their podcasts and then they were like talking about this with tourism, like stakeholders, mm -hmm. it was fun. Mm. Yeah, virtual tourism is also really a pretty interesting okay. yeah, thing to do. Hmm. All right, so anything else that you want our the audience uh -huh. to know. The audience, audience to know. know, yeah. So I think while doing this live thing, yeah, I think people should understand that things don't just happen overnight, honestly. Like this, doing what? Whichever projects we, yeah. are, we are doing yeah. in life. Now this again. one, this one I think is going out to you. So passionate about young ladies. This is now for young ladies. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or if, even the young men. Yes, there's yeah. someone who can pick that. Yeah. yeah, there's someone who can pick that. Mm. So while you're doing this live thing, I know you have like um, projects, you have dreams. It's actually good to dream big. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's very important to understand that Things just don't mm. happen overnight. Yeah, it's also very important to be persistent yeah. in what you're doing. Believe in yourself. Yeah, yeah, all that. And then also trust and trust the process. Trust the process, but then majorly put your trust in, in God. Someone who like mm. who, be, who who believes so much in faith. Yeah, yeah, I think it's very crucial for us to. Be very cautious about our spiritual lives. Okay. Yeah. That aside, I would also encourage people to carry on projects that um, build other people up. Yeah. Yeah. There's no greater satisfaction that comes from helping others. Yeah. Get the, uh, personally, I do what I do because I know I'm making a change in someone's life. Yes, I might not see the change or anything, but there's someone who is going to benefit out of it. Mm. It feels good. No amount of money is going to give you that kind of mm. satisfaction. Yeah, and then also whatever you do, do it. Give it your best. Give it your best. Always know that people are noticing. Yes, you you might be doing work and no one is noticing it, but the truth is people are actually watching. True, I agree. People are watching and when the time is right, at your point in time, things will work out. Okay. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, you see, tourism, uh, sorry, uh, these uh, beauty pageants. Yeah. Is that how you pronounce it? Pageantries. Pa pageantries. Pageantries. Oh, pageantries. Pageantries, yeah. yeah. Uh, usually involve walking on a walkway and then dancing and displaying all sorts of things. Is that what you're going to do also? Yes, yes. Ah, and then show some, you know. Of course, you have to show talent. I mean, yeah. <laughs> everyone also believe that. You see how. People, Show people, talent. People That's believe, no, everyone thinks that it's talent. Okay, yeah, I believe talent yeah. is singing, is dancing yeah. and everything. But then people do not see, like, someone can actually be talented in managing a team of 10 people yeah. or talented in, man in managing or organizing events. That's a talent. Not everyone can do that. Yeah. You get. But people, I think, end up uh, putting a limit to what talent can be. Mm -hmm. Talent can be anything that you're best at more than the other person okay you get so the pageant thing is you have to show show the talent yes show the talent <laughs> <laughs> whatever you have you have to show yes. it and i'm looking forward to that yeah i'm looking forward to, i'm looking forward to learning yeah, yeah i'm looking forward to yeah learning. you're prepared yeah. mentally and everything yeah i'm yeah. preparing i'm yeah. getting my so for the years it involved also cut walking yeah because as a queen, of course, you have to Correct. walk, right? You, you've got to queen. Yes. Yeah. Things have to be seen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you're doing the right thing. Yeah. yeah that's our queen. Because yeah. you're not going to represent our country. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, however, yeah. as girls, from experience, yes, well, it's not like we know that we can do this. Mm. A helping hand that pushes us, someone that be like, okay, no, you do not step like this. You step like this, right? When you're doing this, this is how you pose yourself, this is how you do this. Mm. Yeah, so I believe that the mysterism pageant thing really, really pushes with that. So yeah. that by the time you are qualified to be a queen, yes, they are really mm. molded you into a lady of substance and Correct. a lady that is going to represent the country yeah. wherever she goes, wherever she steps in, whatever they do. Okay. Yeah. And okay, so just to understand this, uh, when you do those, you say Miss Karamoja. Miss Tourism Karamoja. Yeah. So is this happening 
in other regions also? Yes, yes, yes. So after that happens, uh, is it from those that they're going to select the person on top, the queen yes, of all now, queens? Yes, after yeah. regionals, we go to nationals. Okay. Yes, that's when you get the queen of all queens. Like, yeah. Who is now going to represent all these regions together. Correct. Ah, yeah. okay. Sounds great. I mean, it's a whole new thing to me. You're serious? No, I mean, I've been hearing about them, but I didn't dive this deep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm glad that you are actually... Yes. Yeah, getting to and, and for the first time I'm going to vote but now please tell these viewers of ours like there are those that are watching right now can you imagine they are watching without subscribing please can you believe that <laughs> please hit that like button and the subscribe so that you can get content like this and also uh, very useful content in the future yeah please uh, we, I think we'll be posting once a week right correct put on that notification button like hit on it such that every time they post yeah Bang. you'll get notified right away yeah. all right um Rachel it's been nice any parting shots parting shots yeah yes as mission green anything could even be outside of you know yeah you, you, no. could, you could even tell them um I, I, okay it's all right no, you, so, anything, anything no no let yeah. me tell them yeah. this. so when you come to Karamoja please just have fun have fun and get to know people talk about good stuff avoid the negative news yeah always be positive in whatever you do and then also people from abim are called a thur hey. um, a thur from abim oh abim no, is in not an abim no 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 ah. <laughs> they are called a thur okay yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i am an ethur from karamoja okay all right Thank you very much, um, Rachel. Yeah. Did you tell them, also tell them that this style's juice tastes really nice? They haven't seen you sip it. I sip it. Oh, really? Thing. Yeah, it's actually what, amazing. What does it taste like? Like, try to describe the taste to them. Let me see. Ah, everyone has like a different taste, but I might yeah. describe something and then someone might not like it, you get. Hey, yeah, so, you, so we keep that detail. Whoever comes here, yeah. they will yeah. experience it yeah. for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Rachel. Uh, it's been okay. nice catching up. Uh, please come again. Wish you well. You're going to win. See please you at the top. Me. Yeah, I like this. Continue yeah. hosting. <laughs> you definitely will come back. See you yeah. at the top. Okay. Uh, and good luck. Thank you. Bang, bang, bang. bang G Styles. <laughs> you don't know. Blessings. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah. G Styles. The G Full of Style. They're my pre week. If you know, you know. Cuba Cola, me day a pant up with me crown king styles. Everything crease and ting in a me palace. Every boy a pre me in a mirror's right.